Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now, in the summer of 2016, one of the biggest news events is happening in Europe right now and it's a vote. People in the UK, they're voting to stay inside the EU, the European Union, the group of countries in Europe that want to work together or do they want to stay or do they want to be separate from them, right? And they have a name for that and we say Brexit. Brexit is talking about Britain and exit it means is going out. So are they voting for Britain to stay in the European Union or to leave the European Union? So South Korea breaking Brexit's barriers. Barriers is an obstacle that is blocks us and what South Korea is doing is going past or breaking through these problems from Brexit. Brexit is causing a lot of problems and Korea is sort of breaking through those problems. On June 23rd, the United Kingdom left the European Union, EU, a movement known as Brexit or British Exit, right? Over 52% of British citizens voted for this departure. So they had this vote and the vote was finished. When they counted all the votes, 52% wanted to leave the European Union. The world economy is shaky. World economy is talking about the trading of goods, the change of money. It's talking about all the banks and the money and all those valuable things. It's shaky. It's not very you know, safe. It's a little bit dangerous. And surrounding countries like you know, South Korea and Germany and all the other countries around are scrambling. They're very sort of rushed and confused to stabilize their own economy. So their economy is very shaky. It, it, can be go, it can go bad, it can be worse, it can get better. We don't know. It's unpredictable, right? But they want to stabilize it. Stabilizing it means to make it more, you know, level and more consistent and more predictable. This is stable and this is not stable, right? They want to make it steady. And Korea is no exception. Korea is also trying to stable their economy. One of the world's greatest empire, the United Kingdom, is the fifth largest economy in the world, right? So one, two, three, four, five, the, they make the most money in the world. The UK entered the European Union with 27 other countries to form a cooperation. So countries like France and Greece and Germany, all these different European countries, they wanted to make a team called the EU, the European Union. The purpose, the mission was to unify, right, bring together and protect European interests, to protect European money, their land, their people, their customs, their culture, all this, right? Now the UK wants to stand alone. The UK was in the union and now they voted, they are out of the union. The UK's third largest trading partner, which is Korea, provides 1.4% of its exports. So exports means we make something in the country and then we send it to a different country, right? So if we make a computer, then we export it, we send it to a different country. So UK and Korea, they were trading many things, right? Korea's government believes that Brexit will not negatively impact the economy. It will not impact or it will not change the economy in a bad way, negative way. It will be okay. Currently, Korea's government renegotiated new deals. They sort of compromise. They say, you give us this, we'll give us this. No, give us two and we'll give you one. They're trying to renegotiate how much money that they give and take. New deals because many UK companies employ or have workers over a million people worldwide. So they have over a million workers in different countries. In addition, the UK has the second largest aerospace industry. 
Aerospace is talking about you know shuttles and spaceships and planes that go into the sky and go into space. So South Korea decided to seek a separate bilateral free trade agreement with London. So this, this is what happened. Korea and the EU, they had a partnership. They say, we'll give you this and you give us this, right? They said, okay, they shake on it, right? But now the UK is out of the union so Korea made one more uh, partnership with, the, with London. They said, okay, you left the union. We'll make, we want to keep working. We want to keep being partners. So let's stay friends. So they make a, a separate uh, from U European Union is here and the UK Union is here is separate, right? Bilateral free trade agreement with London. Bilateral means there's two parties, Korea and the UK. South Korea's finance minister, finance is talking about money, and minister means the leader of money in Korea. Yu Ilho believes that the effects or the changes brought by Brexit will continually influence global markets. It will keep changing the global markets or the global money system in a bad way, in a good way, but it will keep going. The effects are expected to be prolonged. So the changes, they are guessing to be for a long time, not for a short time. As this is unprecedented, this never happened before. And the interests of many countries are involved in this issue. So because there are so many countries that are affected, and because this never happened before, it's going to take a very long time for the effects to sort of settle down. Okay, we have three review questions here. A, what happened with when the UK decided to leave the EU? Surrounding countries are trying to blank their own economy and the world economy is shaky. So other countries like Germany's economy, their money and other world economy is shaky. It's unpredictable, it's a little dangerous. And what they want to do is make it safer and make it more like this. It's more steady and it is more stable, right? So if we're on a bicycle, if we are not stable, well, well, we will fall down, right? But if, we're right, if we know and practice how to ride a bicycle and we are stable, then we can go straight without falling. B, what is the purpose of the EU? Why did they make the EU? The EU's goal or mission is to blank and protect European interests. So we have this word here, protect. They want to do, they want to help it. They don't want to hurt it. They want to make it better, right? And in their opinion, they think to protect it, they need to be together. They need to be amalgamated. They need to be unified. Sort of like the United States of America or the United Kingdom. United means they are together. C. What did South Korea decide to do? Korea's government decided to seek a blank bilateral two-team free trade agreement with London. So Korea had an agreement with the EU but because the United Kingdom is out of the EU they made another one that is different from the EU agreement and the UK agreement. So something that is different we say that is separate. So if you have separate rooms with your brother or sister that means you have one room and your brother or sister has a separate different room. Okay we are gonna review three review terms here. A over 52% of British citizens voted for this blank, right? So they wanted to leave, they wanted to exit, they wanted to get out of something. So we use the word departure. Uh, easy example is when you go to Incheon Airport, right? If you are going to a different country, you are departing, you're leaving, right? But when you come back from the country, you are arriving. So when you leave, you depart. When you come back, you arrive. B, the UK is the fifth largest blank in the world. 
So we're not talking about the size of their country or their land or how many people there are. We want to talk about how much money their country makes. So when we are talking about all things money, like taxes or jewels or gold or banks or loans, things like that, we say it is the economy. Economy has to do with the movement of money or wealth around countries or different people. See, Korea's government believes that Brexit will not negatively blank the economy. Negatively means in a bad way, right? So it will not, in a bad way, change the economy. It will not hurt the economy. It will not affect the economy. It will not impact the economy. Uh, one example you can use is an asteroid, right? When an asteroid comes from space and it comes into Earth and it hits it, we say that is an impact. Right? When it hits, boom, it's an impact, right? So same thing like this Brexit, what will happen? Well, will it hurt the economy? Will it change the economy? They're saying that it will not change the economy. It will not hurt the economy in a bad way. All right, so to review, departure is when you're leaving. Arrival is when you're coming back. Economy is talking about all things about money, trading money, uh, borrowing money, saving money, going to the bank, all of this is an economy. Impact is when we have some sort of a effect or some sort of a change or some sort of a new thing that is going to cause changes. All right. So I know this sort of topic is a little dense for many of you to understand, but what's important is that Korea is not by ourselves. We are connected to a lot of different countries, right? Whether we like it or not, we have to live in this world together, right? So thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. My name's Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.